that's an interesting covering the event rather than just like standing on the hallway doing whatever the hell you think you're accomplishing. For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. If your organization is really so into diplomacy, why is it that three of the five pictures here are military guys, military leaders? A whole lot of questions. <laughs> That's State Rep Tim Horrigan. Covering the event rather than just like standing on the hallway doing whatever the hell you think you're accomplishing. I guess you could register as press and actually like. Well, my thinking is, from what I understand, I don't think they'll let me in now. I mean, I, maybe if I had at the very beginning. I'm getting two different stories as to whether registration allows access, registration on site. Does that make se sense? Yeah. Yeah, so if Tim Horrigan, the state rep there, doesn't know <laughs> what the advantage is of sort of being on the periphery as opposed to in the event, I don't think I'm going to enlighten him. Congressman Sweat, is that you? Thank you, Thank you. Yes. Are you Congressman Sweat? Okay. Question for you. Did you do anything from your position of power when you were in office to reduce the federal government's reliance on, reliance on torture? Although maybe that was before your time or after your time, I don't know. New Hampshire students already have six layers of government above them. Why would they want to come here and have you as a seventh? That was a UNH PD detective, by the way, I think. To what extent is the primary focus of your organization increasing taxpayer expenditures on the federal programs that you support? To what extent is the focus of your organization increasing taxpayer expense on the programs that you support? To what extent were average people able to question the politicians and military leaders that you had uh, speaking today? Thank you so much for your class. Your organization claims to be pro-development, but these uh, people that you invited today represent institutions that uh, bomb the development as soon as it's built practically. Uh, have you guys ever done anything to try and reduce the amount of bombing? Why is a supposedly pro-development organization so closely associating itself with the military, which bombs the development? LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.